Hello and welcome back to another episode of Mafia 3. And yeah, here we go. Let's grab this card. It's in Berkeley. And let's go to Donovan. There's the laundry mat. And here we go. That wasn't too far at least. <laughs> Just around the corner. No parking, okay, let's park here. Yeah, it's gonna go up one stair and go into this room. There we go. <laughs> you weren't lying about setting up a tax center. The key to running a successful black bag operation is plausible deniability. Which is why I stole all this shit from the FBI. <laughs> Things go tits up, those chicken dicks can deal with the fallout. Glad to see you haven't lost your touch. <laughs> if there's one thing I'm good at, it's fucking with Hoover's Ferry Brigade. And while you were convalescing, I did some digging around. Wanted to see if there are any local assets for you to recruit. I came up with three possibilities. Right now, my priority is getting the hollow out from whoever ended up with it. Figured as much. Patience? Well, I thought they fell apart after I put Baca down. Lucky for us, they're back up. And they're none too pleased that Sal gave Delray Hollow to the Dixie Mafia. Dixie Mafia? Georgie's idea. It's got him running heroin, trying to get everybody hooked. Motherfucker. I'll be damned if I let those coon asses destroy everything that Sammy built up. Who replaced Baca? Unknown. He managed to keep his identity a secret. Unknown? Even to John Donovan? Never thought I'd see the day. Well, I can't help it if I was born pigmentally challenged. So, you telling me my only option is to tail one of these Haitians? Hope he leads me back to the mysterious leader? Hey, it's better than no options. And once you've ingratiated yourself with them, you come see me. I'm finishing something up you're gonna want to see. Hmm. Well done. Let's go hunt some Haitians. And there's my car. Ready? And go and wait for some Haitians to. Okay. Oops. Sorry. My bad. Uh, oh yeah, that went better. Um, well, stop. Okay, I'm stopping here. Wait. Question. How do you know? I, I, I can feel it, Alan. This is what. Um, Heard they're flying James L. Ray back this week. Still amazes me they expect us to believe it was one man who did end Dr. King. It's too Please easy. Too bad. Let's say he was the one who shot Dr. King. Just him and no one else. What if it's really that easy to strike down a great man like Dr. King? President Kennedy, Brother Malcolm. Then nothing in this country will ever change. Now you struggle and you sweat, and someone can take it all away just like that. Here we go. Here they are. And let's. Looking good, chocolate pudding. Maybe you can give me a taste later on. <laughs> Informants were the crime. Uh, criminal rackets around New Bronx. Uh, find an intelligent thing to learn about objectives. Okay. To interrogate the Haitian informant, isolate, isolate him through combat or stalking. Then approach him to start the interrogation <laughs> session. Your dick, dick, cock, truckers run this shit you like clockwork. And we up 
about you take them apart piece by fucking piece. If that don't work, we just take a sledgehammer through the whole goddamn thing. Go through. The thing that surprises me the most is how much these crackers love black pussy. These crackers love enslaving African women. Let's get that street from the start. You do understand what we're doing here, right, Rick? Fight, fight, fighting for freedom. Okay. This don't mean shit without power. So let's Compromise. take out the muscle first. <coughs> and here we go. Kill him. And he doesn't know it. Okay. Let's go back down and interrogate the informant. Let's see. I can drop things on him. But I need him alive. So. There we go. We all want Dixie out of the hollow. Give me your boss and I'll make it happen. Fuck. Shit. Get to the voodoo shop. You'll find the boss there. Sorry about the headache, brother. Okay, and let's get to the voodoo shop. Let's go over there. Oh, come on. Oh, I can... Okay, going to a voodoo shop. Maybe I can pick up a doll. A voodoo doll too. Oops. Oh, nice parking. I need to wait for the Haitian boss. Waiting. And here we are. Coffee? Nice trick you pulled back at the Haitian camp. Lieutenant Baca was holding you prisoner. And I yelled, you are dead. It appears we both full of surprises. Certainly does. <laughs> what can I do for you, Lincoln Clay? I want you to help me kill Sal Marcano. I see. A few months ago, you was trying to kill me. Now you break in here and expect me to trust you? Now that Marcano's back in the Dixie Mafia, it's only a matter of time till they come for you. And when they do, they'll kill everyone standing in their way. Lest I hitch my horse to your wagon, so to speak. I'll see to it that you get the hollow. After that, depends on how things shake out. Do you know why Sammy and I were at war? On account of you going after the lottery? Please. Just because you don't want to face some uncomfortable truths ain't a reason to act naive. Sammy and I were fighting because the people in the hollow deserve better than a two-faced old man who handed out cans of food whenever the mood hit him. Who always did what Sal Marcana told him to do, even if it pitted him against his own people. He did the best he could. And yet his best didn't amount to much, did it? Once I have the hollow, I run it as I see fit. No questions asked. 
long as you give me access to your muscle, your connections, and a place to hold up from time to time, you can do what you want. Marcona replaced Sammy with a man named Richie Doucette. Do you know of him? Assume he's Dixie Mop. He's a wooster. Likes to kidnap black teenagers and take them out to the bayou. After starving them for a few days, he cuts them loose, tells them to run. Sometimes he brings out the dog. You know, for old time's sake. That's how he killed my sister. This is all I have left. How do I find him? It's still dangerous around here for him, so he stays on the move. But his men operate out of the community church in the old theater, Pearl, as it used to be called. It was named after Sammy's wife. I'm taking it down first. One of my men have been staking it out. Seeing what he can learn about how it's being run, you should talk to him and see what he knows. Once I deal with it, I'll see about the church. <sighs> Now let's go in guns blazing. Um, here we have some guns. Show me what you got, Jackie. What the hell? Why are you dri driving a truck? Plenty of nice guns here, but. Apparently I don't have enough money for any of them. So okay. As uh yeah, by recruiting Cassandra you gain access to her associates. Uh the arms dealer. Uh as you increase earning as you increase earn for your underbosses, they will give you access to their associates and upgrade to their services. Uh, the basic arms dealer has a mobile weapons and equipment store. You can view future upgrades for your for the arms dealer in the assets menu under the assets and upgrades. Okay. Under assets and no where's the arms dealer? Yeah, no collectibles, options, assets. Ah, here we go. Uh, associates and upgrades. Well, there's a lot. Steel guns from the Dixie Mafia and they label them to Cassandra. The arms dealer, the arms smith, and operation operator. Okay. Well, store government shut me down. They don't want niggas buying guns. Where are we gonna start shooting the hell out of white folks or some such? Motherfuckers. Tell me about it. Let me know if you see something you want. All right. Let's see. We are going. Where we going? What am I doing? Ah, there we go. Uh, so, yep, let's go talk to the voice. Let's 
go in here. And it's raining. And here we go. Lincoln, you a sight for so eyes. Laveau, been a while. Wasn't expecting to see you working with the Haitians. It's either this or bow down to them fucking coon asses. And you know I ain't ever been one to bow down to anyone. <laughs> ain't that the goddamn truth? Cassandra phoned ahead. Say you going out to Perlis. Asshole named Merle Jackson runs it. Turned it into a brothel. Let's white fellas come in and do whatever they want to our young sisters. How do I get to them? You don't. Not yet, anyway. A lot of those Dixie fucks try to stay out of sight. There's someone put a bullet up their ass. If I hit his operations, he'll have to come out and deal with me. I got an idea how to get his attention. He got some girls locked up on the second floor of Perlis. Calls them his thoroughbreds. Has them strung out on all kind of shit. He makes a lot of money off them. Go in there quiet. Get them out of there. I'll let you know when it's done. Hey, uh, I'm sorry to hear about Sammy Nellis. They always did right by me. All right. Let's sneak into a brothel and get some busting up rackets. Every racket's, racket's vulnerable, hurting their ability to make money to force the rocket boss to come deal with it. Deal with the danger you done. Okay. Or damage you done. Sorry. Draw up Nur by damaging his prostitution rack in the hollows. The first step in doing that is is to free the girls being held hostage by at Dusser. Okay. I think it's it's closer to run right through here. Then driving around. I have 15,000 of damage I need to do to it. Let's grab this truck. Okay, let's not do that then. Why? Where can I? Where do I get? Nope. Here we go. Now, can I get through here to... No, I can't. Dang it. I need to go all the way around this one. Oops, I can't... No, I can't jump over that. <sighs> Okay then, let's go. Uh, oh, so there was a little problem there. Hopefully it didn't uh, destroy anything of it. Hope. Now I need to cut that together then, if I can. Brutal takedown. There we go. I'm grabbing that. I'm holstering that, and then I'm running. I'm running, I'm running. And here we are. 
go to the other side here, and then we're at the place we should be at. Nice to see you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here we go. Run. Oh, uh, Mr. Lavelle told me you'd be there. coming. The girls are upstairs. Be careful. Merle's people are all over the place. Talk to her. I will. Thanks. We can actually grab this gun over here. Could just go ahead and just shoot my way in there. But that wouldn't be any fun, would it? is going good. Let's open this one. Now I forgot grab he was born that and raised here too. West. Mm -hmm. Fourth generation. And I'm and serious. That place Mikey went to was the best. They made a etouffee just like my mama. I bet her gumbo was good too, huh? Oh boy, her gumbo, her jambalaya, red beans and rice. My mama can't cook for shit. Never could. <laughs> Must be why you ain't much skin on them bones. Well, let's take him out. Grab the cash. Go get him. Or he's there we go. Let's go back here and grab the cash that I forgot. There we go. Now let's go over to the other side. Get the one that stands over here. Look at the cash. Let's wait for him to get away from the customers. Okay. Um, let's. Can I? No. Oh my God! They, they were going to. Once you're out of here, go see Cassandra at the Pierced Heart. She'll help you. Hmm. 
so I won't let this place break me down one day at a time but no doubt I will see my family again spread the word any woman needing help should go to the pierced heart thank thank you Let's kill this one first. There we go. Get down there. You can. And there we go. And let's tell Shelly it's been a good week. Ronnie sold around five grand worth of shit. And Jean brought around seven grand. Uh, that out of getting rich Every of our assets. One. Get out of here. Now. Is there anyone in here? No. Well then. Let's go into the office too and grab all the money. Brother, calm down. You have to use a lot of touch is all. And there's a painting in here too. There we go. No worries. Get the painting, get the money, get everything. Let's go out of here. No need to. Can I go down here and out? No. I need to go around. Yep. Yeah. All the way around. This one. And still have some money downstairs, so let's go grab that too. Money is out on the table here. Yeah, right out uh, there. There we go. And now it's only to walk right out the door. With nobody knowing what I have done. There we go. Anyway, uh, that's it for this episode. Hope you have enjoyed. 